foundation of strong leadership. It helps create an environment where employees can build authentic relationships, feel committed to the organizational values, and take ownership and pride in the work they do. The result? They feel empowered to work from the heart and to contribute to the company's shared vision. So while it may sound simple, building trust takes a lot of effort, time, unwavering commitment, and a defined set of core values. Trust starts with a common commitment to address any toxicity and destructive conflict that may arise from poor communication and a lack of common vision. Trust doesn't flourish in spaces that are ruled like an iron-fisted hierarchy where value is placed more on a person's rank rather than their day-to-day -day achievements. When employees feel valued and heard, when they can weigh in, they buy in and collaborate more naturally. Work becomes less of an obligation and more a source of pride and personal merit. Trust is also about leading by example. Do as I say, not as I do, is not the philosophy that works long term. We need to walk the talk to support followers to realistically achieve their objectives, provide the constructive feedback and resources necessary to help them along the way. Accountability starts when leaders keep their word and acknowledge their limitations and are not afraid to admit when they fail or make a mistake. This way, they encourage others to take chances and learn without the fear of retribution. Finally, trust is about clear and honest communication. When people feel safer talking about obstacles and challenges, they can grow and become experts in their own domain. Consequently, they buy in more readily to decisions made by upper management and their confidence becomes a critical component for successfully achieving mutual goals and living the company's vision.